Hey everybody, it's Mike with Monkey Fab. Today we're going to do a video on um, these guys that I sell GLS cups. It's about gasolines, uh, about the coverage, about gas coverage I think is the best way to put it. Here's what, here's what the plan is to do. Um, I have four, four of these guys and they are stainless steel, 304 stainless steel. And I've cleaned them up on the uh, on my abrasive belt, and we'll rub them down with some denatured alcohol, and we're gonna label it. One's gonna be uh, number 10 standard, one's gonna be number eight uh, gas lens, and one's gonna be a number 12, and num one's gonna be a number 16. And then we're gonna set the gas for 25 CFH, and we're gonna weld a bead, and we're gonna see what it looks like. We're gonna make it probably the length of this material. And then we're going to increase the stick out and we're going to weld another bead. And so my hopes is, is this is going to wrinkle up as we go on. Um, but I'm going to try to keep every pass about the same as, as, as much as I can humanly possible. And, uh, and we'll try to keep, make sure that the temperature on these guys is dropped, uh, to where I can touch them with my hand in between passes. So they're all, kind of getting the same start point. So that's, that's the test. We're gonna test gas lenses, uh, big cups and standard, lens, and standard cups. In case you didn't know, the, uh, the numbering system on, uh, on cups and welding is sixteenths of an inch. So a number eight then is half the size of a number 16. So a number 16 is one inch and your number eight is a half inch. That's the orifice opening of these guys. And uh, generally speaking, you can weld, you know, the length of that cup and keep that area shielded. So in theory, you know, you can weld an inch with this guy and have that completely shielded. And the, this guy, you can weld a half an inch and keep it completely shielded. So our first go is going to be with this guy right here. And this big old number 10. So in theory it should have decent gas coverage. Okay, so the results are in. And now we're gonna switch out to a number eight gas lens. Gas lens with 35 foul stick out. I almost feel like that's too much stick out there, but uh, the gas is cranked way up high, usually for a, for a gas lens uh, with a standard cup. You only need about I need to look at the microphone and speak. I know this. I know this, Mel. Don't tell me. I'm listening to you guys. Uh, usually, uh, you only need about 15, 18 CFH on a, like a standard cup, but again, it's, it limits your, your ability to move and travel. So, number eight.
Okay, and that's the number eight. So now we got the uh, number 12, GLS pump. And just keep all things even, I'll try to do it. That 35 foul stick out. So that's uh, oh, the number 12 GLS cup with uh, 35 foul stick out. Okay, there's the number 12 GLS cup. All right, so my number 16 with uh, three, uh, 35 thou stick out. I'm trying to make better videos for you guys. Okay, it's quiet. It's quiet in here now. Okay, so here is the results. Here's the results. And let's see if I can get my hand in this camera. Okay, so here's the results. And here is, whoop. Got it American style, right to left, left to right. Got it American style. Okay, so here's the results. This is the number 10. Can you focus for me, please? So that's the number 10 um, standard cup. And like I said, I moved a little bit slower on that. I was having a really hard time just even seeing the puddle with that big cup on there with no, uh, with no stick out. And this is the number eight. Uh, gas lens and you can see where don't want to touch it don't touch it like an idiot Mike you can see at the end here where it's still silver and shiny um, and that kind of goes along with that like how much travel you can get out of a cup um, you know and keeping it shielded the rest of this stuff it's um, it's not bad I mean you know it'll, it'll work but you know it's just a matter of is that what you want and uh, then we got the number 12 so it is you know that's all acceptable colors right there and uh, yeah and then you got the number 16 and it's you know pretty much the same thing as the 12 uh, let's see the shielded area is here I'll move that over to here and yeah, it's about the same on the shielded area at the end there. It's just a matter of how much that gas is flowing out. Uh, I don't know if cranking up the gas pressure would make it wider or not. Um, but we did nothing but just change the cups on all four of these. And that is the results you're going to see. So what I'm going to... I deviated from my plan. The fact is, is it's another hour worth of video to uh, show you where I get the stick out to an inch and a half on the uh, number 16 cup. Uh, 
I think you got the takeaway in, in the 10 minutes and uh, I'll probably in the future do like an unabridged version of this. So if you got an hour and 20 minutes or so to kill, you can pop it open and watch, you know, it, it, watch the, the stick out and how, how, you know, what cup fills where. Um, but I think this pretty much sums up, you know, the gas coverage issue. Uh, I get this a lot, uh, the questions a lot. Um, you know, why does my weld look like, you know, the standard number 10 uh, Colet uh, weld, you know, where it's kind of gray and burnt looking. And the answer is usually gas coverage. And uh, I think that demonstrated it nicely that what kind of shielding can be provided uh, by these cups uh, and why you'd want to use a large cup. It also gets you out of a bind, you know, if, if you do need an inch and a half to stick out, uh, which I do usually daily when I'm doing my collectors, um, that that's what I use. So, uh, there's lots of different factors and stuff that to consider uh, how a weld turns out. Uh, prep work is is a large piece of it. The mass of metal that you're welding and the, its ability to, to uh, absorb the heat and distribute it is also a consideration. But uh, I think this uh, this is a good little video. It should, just kind of gets you right to the point. So if you wonder why you're getting gray welds, uh, or if you wonder just see like what's the demo, you know. Let me see. I like to see real results, and I want to see what these actual parts do. Then there's a quick demo for you, 10 minutes. And if you want to pick one of those up, they're available on my website over at monkeyfabgarage.com. Um, and I appreciate you guys dropping by, checking out the video. Like I said, I'll probably do an unabridged version with all the footage uh, a little bit later. But uh, until then, this is Mike Monkey Fab signing out.